Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I just knocked off work. Just gonna go for a little flick down the wall. See if I can pick up a some some. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get into it. session turned into a bit of a well fishing basics video I decided I'd just try and try and get some basics to winter fishing for brim and EPs. Uh, this session took place up on the hunter, me and a mate ducked up after work, tried tried to get in for a session and we were on. Had a good session. Um just started the video I'd like to start off. Stick to uh, three rules when I, I'm trying to target some species. Um, lure, stick to a lure if you're trying to catch a species. Sort of, don't stick to it, but like general rule of thumb in the winter, soft plastics under boat hulls um, and hard bodies under boat hulls. Today I had one rod with a softy, one with a hard body. Motor oil grub did the trick. That was the lure. Decided I wanted to go with the lure. Picked that lure. Fished it. And that's all I needed. Um, <clears throat> second rule. Uh, location. Boat hulls. Winter, boat hulls. Summer. Um, walk you through that in the summer. But normally sand flats. Um, so that brings us to the third rule. What season we're in. We're in winter. The fishing's slow. We're putting lures really slow and that affects the retrieve. Um, as you can see here, approaching a hull with the electric. Just slowly. Um, the retrieve, uh, you'll see here, um, me casting up. Nice skip cast in. Just slow retrieve. Look, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. And I'm on. Very slow, very little movement. Busted off though, because for some reason I'm retarded. If you're hearing something in the background, this is the third time I've recorded it. And uh, my family is very loud, so I've given up. Um, one of them was good and I accidentally deleted it. Because MacBooks suck. <laughs> yeah. So that's the, the me getting busted off. <laughs> running out of talent and straight back in rigging up. Just getting rigged up, another grub. Um, then back again, another hole, just slowly retrieving. Nice little slow wind, burn it back out. Um, I was finding they weren't taking it early on. This is like two casts later, same hole. Um, <laughs> very slow retrieve. This one was actually a bigger fish, and I just. One of the most important things is. You've got two very important things when you're onto a fish. Where you put your rod and how you talk to them. And I fucked them up in that one. Didn't talk that one out. I just sort of put the rod in the wrong spot and he didn't listen to me. He went the wrong way and busted me off. I sort of went bits back with the electric. Um, yeah, just stuffed up and, and went the wrong direction there. But it is what it is and... And we'll sort that out. Um, it's cruising up to the next spot now. Well, I don't think it's not classic, because that would have been like 50 bucks with a hard body. With that in the rod holder, talking to the camera, but you can't hear it because this is what the audio sounds like. Um, here we go. Very slow retrieve. Onto the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just sitting there. This one, I actually, possibly might land the fish. Into the talking to Oscar. Oscar. Under the pontoon in this situation. And just very slow retreat. Like, look at those pauses. Like, you can see it now I'm winding. Now I'm stopped. Gets a little hit. 
oh, and he's on. And good, actually had some skill with the electric, got him out. Luckily, I actually managed to pull that one out. This is a little EP. Me and Oscar are finishing a super secret spot up on the Hunter. Um, the full video will be released at the end of winter because I don't want to fully stitch it up. I decided to post this one this week because well, it might be helping people if they're slow in the winter. And the Vanaford, I'll post that closer to the Shimano release of the new stuff with their Pursuit and their new Tika. I think that's what the name of it really is. I did check it a minute ago, but I'm, I'm special. Uh, no, Sustain. The Shimano Sustain. I'll, I'll be doing a comparison between the old T-curve and the Vanaford combo and the new T-curve with the Sustain um, in the next couple of weeks. So, stay tuned for that. A um, little bit of a holdout with the brim, with the EP, I mean, and then release as soon as possible. Uh, now, we're moving on to me stuffing up with the brim. I'm a motor up to it, looking at the hull, like, yep, yeah, I don't know how it landed, this is probably one of the luckiest I've ever been, like, perfect skip cast, like, watch this, bloody, do -do 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 all the way up the hull, nice little skip cast, but then, slowly, retrieving, and I'm on, and just, wrong direction with the electric, don't know how I can feel it running against something, expecting to get busted off, um, still not getting busted off yet, not quite, wrong way with the electric, into the back of the Avora, a good lesson to learn with this one, make sure if you're fishing on an expensive hull, don't crash into the back of it and make sure the owner's not there if you do, I stuff that up with this one, the owner's at the other end of the wharf staring at me like what's this retard doing, well, I'm shooting myself thinking I'm going to get shot, no good. And this brim's deep in there. I don't know how I'm pulling it out. Fully, fully Aaron Borg style, this one. I should not have landed it, but managed to. A little bit of a, oh, yep, come out. Spin, wrong way, just telling where to go under the electric. Yep, 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 gonna get busted here. Thinking it's a really good fish. It's just like a 35 model brim. It's nothing, nothing to brag about. Under the wharf, sees it's a shit little brim. It's like, this thing has run me run me round like made me look like an idiot kayaker looking at me like what are you doing it's like you just have no idea and can't net it in the net and it dives out in the net that fish was a disaster saying to the camera even though you can't hear it oh how do i get that out and just quick little i didn't think it was recording because it was turned off about to go flat shut myself look real depressed electric out, and then here's a little holdout, not the biggest brim ever, but better than if it wasn't a fish, and then just a nice little release, um, yeah, that's, that's the fish, um, I'd like to thank you guys heaps for watching, like, subscribe, uh, some big videos coming up soon will be the Vanaford next week, this session the week after, or the Vanaford 5000 the week after, then the comparison, or this session, then the other one of those two, um, I'm actually going to start uploading regularly, so make sure you like, subscribe, and you'll see me in the next one.